Mr. Speaker, um, the gentlelady from the District of Columbia has just made a very powerful point, which is that on a whole range of offenses under the newly revised DC Act that they want to uh, overthrow now, uh, the criminal law is tougher in Washington, D.C. than it is in the uh, distinguished chairman's home state of Kentucky. On carjacking, on first-degree murder, on involuntary manslaughter, the people of D.C. have chosen tougher penalties. But the general lady didn't arrive to denounce Kentucky as soft on crime or weak on crime and say the whole United States Congress has got to turn itself into a super legislature for Kentucky and strike their laws down. That's up to the people of Kentucky. They don't even have a carjacking statute. You've got to use armed robbery there, which gets you up to 20 years in prison. Uh, in the District of Columbia, they have a specific carjacking statute that could get you 24 years in prison. But that is the beauty of the federal system, which I thought our colleagues supported. The idea that people decide at the local level whether they want tougher laws, as in the District of Columbia, or weaker laws, as in Kentucky. That's up to the people of the states to go offense by offense. But I'm afraid that my friend and colleague, uh, uh, Ms. Norton, is taking them a bit too seriously, because they're not really interested in scrutinizing the actual criminal justice policy. They just want to kick the people of Washington, D.C. around. They want to lord it over them. So we had President Biden here this week inviting both parties to work together for continued acceleration of this great economic rebound we're in, with 12 million new jobs, with us finally addressing climate change, with us getting prescription drug benefits to the people of America. He invited us to participate in a bipartisan national renewal. And what does the majority come back with? They want 535 members of the United States Congress to act like a super city council lording over the people of Washington, D.C. It is unjust and unfair to the people of Washington, and it is beneath our dignity as a Democratic Congress to be acting in this way. I reserve. General, most time is reserved. General